Yesterday, I uh, was honored to uh, receive the former Assistant Secretary of State of the United, the United States, Roger Noriega, in my office. We sat there and talked for hours, and I, I took him to Parliament, uh, had a special meeting with the Foreign Affairs Committee, came back to my office, and I said, you know, that flag on your wall, is that a Cuban flag? It looks like a Cuban flag. I said, yeah, it's a flag of Papua, and that there is a resemblance there. It's here as well. That flag is on the wall of my office, and it's not there without a reason. It's there because I am on your side, uh, and my party is on your side. This is, this is an official statement, and you can check uh, the history of uh, the PVV statements in Parliament and outside Parliament, where I, I as, a, as a spokesman for uh, Indonesia and surrounding areas, have uh, consistently uh, spoken on your behalf, support for your case. But I want to mention several things that that worry me in that respect. Coming back to the flag first, and to the reason that I am also personally very preoccupied with, with, your, with your story and with your struggle. When I was young, I'm from 1955, I was, I was born in a Dutch Reformed family, and every Sunday I, I, I went to the church, of course, and we had children church the, in a week. And there was very often a reference to Papua and to the people that uh, came from the Netherlands and brought the gospel to Papua. And there were still people doing that in the days that I was young. People traveled there, Dutch people, and that was after 1961. And this, this has always occupied me. I was, uh, when I became a politician, and I was uh, touched by the Papua issue because it was on the agenda of my party, I made a reference very automatically to those, to those, to those memories of the past where I was confronted with a people very far away that needed our support, that was already in those days, but it was more emotional support, it was not out of guilt, it was out of compassion, more personal compassion with the people living very far away in the former colony of the Dutch. This is a memory, and I think that that is the most important thing that you have accomplished in the past few years, is that you have retrieved the memory, not only for yourself, but for the political realm here. You were not on the political map for a very long time. But the past few years, uh, thanks to your leadership, among others, uh, it has been returned to our conscience. And I mentioned conscience with a very important purpose. Because we have a debt of honor, and I've mentioned this before here in this house, a debt of honor to your people. I will not go back to all the reasons why we have that, because those have probably been mentioned already. But I want to emphasize that this debt for me, is also a personal debt of honor. And I know that it is for my party chairman, Geert Wilders, who received the flag of Papua after the demonstration last year on the plane outside the House of Parliament. Debt of honor. What does that mean? You can sort of fill it in with, with, with um, artifacts. You can fill it in with, with symbols that might mean nothing. We want to do political work with that debt of honor. And I'm very honored that uh, in our house there is a very broad support for that. I mean, this is a representation of uh, not every party in, in Parliament, unfortunately, but we, uh, uh, Parliament, uh, accepted a resolution from my party, from my, uh, from my party last year that deals with the Papua issue. And it is not the only resolution. There was a resolution of the case from the there was a resolution, resolution of the affordability. And this is a building. This is a building that you should use, and you should keep us uh, uh, involved because of those resolutions. You can always uh, rely on us because we were committed because of these resolutions. But you should always help us remind that this is a, uh, uh, an issue that we should work for. Because there is much on the agenda, as you know. There was reference by Harry von Bommel to uh, uh, the, the issue of the Moroccans, which is also on our hearts, in our hearts, also with me personally. And uh, I think I, I find it very difficult to separate those because they're both depths of honor. And uh, now that that brings me to the most important reason that I want to address you today. Much to my dismay, I have noticed the past year, when I since I've been working with the Papua community in the Netherlands, that there is a there's not a unity. There's no unity. There are four or five organizations, and they're not synchronizing their efforts. And I think that is to the detriment of your of your of your vote. So I hope that you will consider after I've been, 
I finished my speech that you will consider going for unity because that is the only way to accomplish something. I really hope that you were willing to consider working together for the, uh, the good cause that you represent. Final thing that I want to mention. When there's a darkness, like in Papua at the moment, darkness, there's nobody that reports from that area. We don't know what's happening. In the darkness, everything can happen. You need only one match in a very dark place to light it up. One match. Try it at home. You don't need a big, a big uh, lamp or a big, a big, big bulb to do that. One match. One journalist, one journalist inside could enlighten the situation. This is also what we are fighting for here, that the Dutch government will push the Indonesian government for transparency and for opening Papua territory for journalists and NGOs. There should be a lot of matches there to enlighten the situation. If we fail in that respect, we might expect we, we might uh, discover after a while that atrocities have taken place. There were those mentioning of atrocities last year in December. And we still don't know what really happened. And I questioned my Minister of Foreign Affairs on the issue. He said, you know, there was a lot of exaggeration there. I said, how do you know? Nobody was there, that was no match. I said, you know, we have reports from the Indonesian government but also from local organizations, NGOs, that the situation is a bit more nuanced than was brought out by Indonesian, uh, by Papua organizations in the Netherlands. This is also uh, uh, an assignment to you, as far as I'm concerned, that you try to keep the information as concise as possible, also as credible as possible. Don't exaggerate, but inform us. Keep inform us all the time. And then you will have that match in your hand as well. I want to finish with the flag. You know, the Harry Von Bonn said, taking down a flag uh, is not a crime. It's not a crime. But I know, I have, having a flag today is not a crime. But it is a crime in, in Papua, it's a crime. But, you know, taking down a flag like the Indonesian government is doing is a sign of weakness as well. If that is the thing they do, they're afraid of the consequences of your national feelings. I'm not going to indulge here in political statements about what we expect you to do with your right to self-determination. It's a very tough thing, also in the Dutch parliament. There's no consensus on how you should fill that in. And I tell you, with peaceful means, you have us on your side. Struggle for it, but use non-violent means. Use diplomacy and use us. Thank you very much. Uh, this is something, the symbol of uh, people of West Papua. It contains uh, the bone, and you can see this, all the symbols that our father gave to the sons, and uh, there's this flag, and all the symbols. And this is our national anthem that is recognized by our father. And this is the, our father draw the map of West Papua. This is the, our father, the old man, and you can see it, little and beginning. And this is the word of the uh, from Prime Minister, that's Prime Minister. Um, he said, look the future with the confidence in the justice of your case, and knowing that you are, will always be in our minds, and our best wishes will accompany you, and may God bless you and save you. This is the word we always hope that our justice will become. Because you are give confidence, all of you are give confidence for us. And no, any longer our tear will, will become becoming shorter and will free. That's they are really confident. Thank you very much. And this is the, the bag that people of us have sent. Thank you very much.